the Lord has spoken to my precious little one, telling me that someone has decided to help you financially because they are aware of the hardships you have endured. There will be times when we face difficult circumstances and challenges that seem impossible to overcome. In such times, we may wonder whether there is someone on earth who really understands our hardships and even question our faith. But when we are weak and discouraged, we should remember that there could be a stronger power out there that watches over us, cares for us, and provides us with advantages just when we need them. The lines serve as a constant reminder that we are not alone in this world and that we have a caring Father in God who understands our pain and struggles, a gift from God. Like a gentle embrace from a worried parent, these words provide comfort and confidence. No matter how bad things become, they always make us remember that we are loved. The realization that someone wants to advise us financially is the next part of the message, a substantial second as it shows that God has arranged for all the other characters to be generous so that we might have what we want. That only goes to show how kind and caring individuals can be when they step forward to help those in need. The fact that this individual is aware of the trials we have had in the past is strong evidence that God knows everything about us. It seems like God is still cognizant of the challenges we've overcome and the limits we've pushed past. Our pain and suffering have not been forgotten, and there are those that understand and share our journey. This is a much-needed reminder of that. What a remarkable act of generosity this person has chosen to do by providing us with financial assistance. As a result, it serves as a gentle reminder that decent people do exist and that they are eager to lend a hand to those in need. It's a demonstration of how God's love and care are being worked out in the lives of individuals who are prone to be vessels of His grace. We believe that religion is important, and we are reminded of that when we repeat this word from God. Problems make us want to give up, but we must remember that God has a purpose for our lives. No matter how cloudy the road ahead may seem, we must trust that God is leading us to a better place. The power of thankfulness is another lesson we learn from the Gospel. When someone helps us out, we should be sure to let them know how much we appreciate it. Expressing gratitude helps us appreciate the positive things in our lives even more and draws more of them into our lives. God has sent us a message to let us know that we are not alone in this world. Someone or some higher force is keeping an eye on us and we have supporters sending best wishes, love and a bountiful windfall. My little child and I are reminded of the power of faith in God's grace and the inherent goodwill of humankind. This is a word from God that is both deep and reassuring. They serve as a constant reminder of the kind people that are there for us, even when we're down and out. They encourage us to have faith, be thankful openly, and trust in the divine design of our lives. We are never really alone on this journey called life, and God's word serves as a guiding light that illuminates our hearts. My little one, I know exactly what is going to happen to you soon, and I am very certain that it will bring you much joy in this world, as God says. We often wonder what the future holds because of the weight of uncertainty. In these times of uncertainty and curiosity, we want direction and confirmation. A reassuring reminder that we are not embarking on this journey alone, and that there may be a higher power who knows us well, my beloved child, is the word from God. I will cherish the time I spend with my pricey baby. The way it reassures us that a protective force is looking out for us is reminiscent of a parent speaking to their beloved children. It makes us feel loved and protected. We are not aimless mortals lost in the labyrinth of life. Rather, we are special, predestined children of God. God knows precisely what will happen in our near future the message says, taking a dramatic turn. Everything we've learned here is both humbling and encouraging. It serves as a reminder that God's attitude is timeless and universal and that His awareness includes everything that exists, will exist, or will exist in the future. It only goes to show 
that God knows everything that's going on in our lives, including the future. I'm very encouraged by the assurance that what lies ahead may be a fantastic experience. It suggests that God has structured events and circumstances to bring about something of great quality. Because of it, we are able to pursue our dreams and look forward to the future with enthusiasm and confidence. This message encourages us to consider several important principles that might shape our perspective on lifestyles. We are encouraged to ponder our future in God's wisdom when we realize that He has a plan. Even if we fail to discern His perfect plan, we may take comfort in the fact that He's directing our events to bring about our greatest good. While it's natural to want to know how things will turn out, this message serves as a reminder that there's beauty in the unknown. Unexpected opportunities, difficulties, and setbacks in life often pave the way for personal development and change. Perhaps the most powerful inspiration is the hope for a better future. In this message, we are encouraged to bring religion into our homes and into the developing divine plan. Destiny holds great potential, but we must not lose sight of the importance of savoring each moment as it comes. You have the opportunity to make new, unforgettable discoveries every day. As we go forward into the future, may we find joy in the ordinary and leave a remarkable impression on those around us. We may be thankful for the direction and comfort offered by this divine message, which increases our blessings and draws more kindness into our lives. I can already tell you what's in store for you soon, and I can guarantee that you're going to have an amazing time. Deliver a heartfelt message of hope, faith, and heavenly direction. As a constant reminder that we are loved and cared for, they inspire us to face life's mysteries with hope and conviction. A guiding light amid the night of doubt, this message shows us the way forward and encourages us to welcome the future with awe and delight. According to God, my precious child, they could be behaving this way because they know you have spiritual problems in the hereafter. Our lives are like a roller coaster with many highs and lows and many obstacles to overcome. At times, these challenges may be so burdensome that they make us feel helpless and unsure of what lies ahead. When things get tough, we might start to wonder whether everyone knows about our past studies and the challenges we've faced. A reassuring word from God tells us of His existence and the goodwill of others during those times of uncertainty and reflected image. My darling baby's words carry the warmth and tenderness of a person speaking to their beloved children. With their empathetic tone, those remarks serve as a gentle reminder that the divine is at our side and that a benign power is keeping watch over us out of genuine concern for our welfare. The insight that someone is acting on our behalf because they know the struggles we've had in the past is consistent with God's message. Our challenges and difficult circumstances are no longer being disregarded, and this realization is proof of that. This means that there are others out there who understand where we're coming from, who have been through similar struggles, and who are motivated to make a positive difference in our lives. This selfless deed by a different character serves as a powerful reminder of the inherent goodness in people. A helping hand to the downtrodden is a perfect illustration of the inherent human desire to lighten the load of others. The world would be a better place if more people exhibited these compassionate and empathic traits. Feelings of longing and relief are heightened when we learn that someone is acting on our behalf as a result of their attention to our previous difficulties. It gives us hope that our hardships have not defined us or gone unrecognized, but have instead brought us kindness and understanding from others around us. All of our evaluations, good and bad, help shape our identities, and this serves as a reminder of that. The courage and perseverance we showed in the past are still visible now. As humans, we are bound together by the strength of our empathy. When others realize how tough it is for us, they may be more willing to help us out in any way they can, whether it's financially, emotionally, or practically. It might have a significant impact on our lives. It serves as a gentle reminder 
that we are not alone in the difficult times we are experiencing. Expressing thanks and appreciation in a public way, being thankful makes the wonderful things in our lives more noticeable and enriches our relationships with others. They are taking action because they care deeply about you and your previous struggles, my darling child. And this is a beautiful manifestation of both divine and human compassion. That our plight has not gone unnoticed and that others are motivated to lend us a hand is what this serves as a reminder of. A ray of optimism, this message bolsters the belief that empathy and compassion are powerful energies that can guide us and comfort us when we're down. Recognizing the pleasant things happening to us and keeping in mind that we are never really alone on our journeys are both encouraged by it. According to God, my precious baby, they are aware of this since they have seen your struggles firsthand. Life is full of difficult events and tests that test our strength and determination. Rather than shattering us, those trying times should mold us into better people. When you're going through tough times, it could seem like everyone is looking down on you. You have a lot on your plate, but remember that I'm always here, helping you get through the worst of it. Eventually, in your life, you will not be traveling this path alone. There have been times when you felt down and unsure about yourself. There have been moments when you have doubted your abilities and wanted to quit. Nonetheless, you have become stronger with each challenge you have overcome. The challenges you've faced and conquered have only served to equip you for the future. All around you, people have seen the hardships you've endured and can feel the level of commitment you have. Everyone around you admires your courage since they've seen you stick it out when things get tough. Your steadfast faith and ability to bounce back have been an inspiration to many. Remember that challenges are inevitable. They aren't punishments, but rather chances for personal development. In the midst of hardship, you have the opportunity to learn, grow, and ultimately become a more knowledgeable and empathetic person. Remember those times when you felt like you couldn't go on because your troubles were too heavy. But you probably did, and you came out stronger than before. Contrarily, you have grown into the person you are now, thanks to the lessons you learned from your hardships. Also, keep in mind that difficulties affect everyone. Problems will arise for everyone at some point in the future, regardless of their background or the specifics of the event. You have the ability to overcome challenges and persevere through tough times, which is what makes you unique. You possess the inner strength to overcome every challenge that crosses your path. Your previous struggles have finally been acknowledged. Many people who know you admire and respect you for your determination and persistence. Even when you feel disheartened or overwhelmed by cutting-edge, challenging conditions, they have seen your unfaltering faith and your capacity to discover a desire, even in the darkest of times. Take stock of your life's narratives. Remember the times when you conquered seemingly impossible obstacles. You have the inner strength and will to overcome every challenge that crosses your path. When uncertainty arises, rely on your faith and acknowledge its validity within the greater scheme of things. No matter where you are, I am always by your side, keeping an eye on you and pointing the way. Your trust in me has kept you going on your trip, and it will continue to do so. Difficulties do not exist to destroy you, but to shape you into a better person. They shape you into who you are and unite you for a better future. They are the crucible. You have the knowledge and tools from your trials to face the challenges that lie ahead with confidence. Your experience exemplifies the strength and determination that you possess. You have encouraged others around you to face challenges head-on by doing it with poise and bravery. Thanks to your evaluations, we now know that there is a path ahead, even when things become tough. So, my darling, have faith in yourself and take heart. You're defined not by your difficulties, but by your strength in the face of adversity. Thanks to the challenges you've overcome, you're ready for a future full of possibilities and optimism. You're not supposed to be interrupted by life's troubles. Rather, they are designed to shape you into a more resilient and empathetic individual. You may have astonished those closest to you with your resilience 
since they have seen your challenges firsthand. Have faith in yourself and trust in the divine plan. No obstacle is too great for you to conquer. During the next week, my darling child, you will face half new experiences that will change your life forever. As a result, getting ready is key. Unpredictable turns are par for the course in life, and in the days ahead, you'll encounter challenging circumstances and opportunities as you try to alter your trajectory through the adventure of living. At times, the known may teach the unfamiliar proper etiquette. When things get tough, that's when you have to be flexible, develop, and find your hidden abilities. You could have this type of leisure in the next two weeks. The prospect of dealing with the unknown, on top of the unease that comes with trading, may make anybody anxious. However, keep in mind that I'm always here to support you and lead you on your journey. No matter how difficult things become, know that my love and support will be there for you. As you get ready for what's to come, find quiet times to reflect, center yourself, strengthen your faith, and trust in the plan I have for your life. You may draw strength and resilience from your faith. Praise be. Remember everything you've learned in school if you seek God's favor. The numerous challenges you've overcome have sharpened your resilience and self-awareness. To help you navigate the unexpected terrain ahead, training also includes practical measures that you may draw upon. Make the most of your time by carefully planning and preparing your affairs. You could feel more prepared and in charge if you do this. Anticipate potential problems and come up with solutions as you go along. Rely on the support of those closest to you. Tell those who care about you what's on your mind and what you expect to accomplish. Their advice and support might be useful in times of need. You may be more resilient when you confront the forthcoming life-changing events together. Embrace an attitude that is adaptable and open. Unpredictable possibilities arise often as a result of life's unexpected turns. Be open to new possibilities that may come your way during this time. Occasionally, the greatest life-altering experiences arise out of nowhere. No matter what challenges you face, know that you are resilient and capable of overcoming them. You have shown remarkable resilience in the face of adversity, becoming stronger with each passing trial. Over the next seven days and two weeks, believe in your ability to overcome obstacles and take advantage of opportunities. Stay alert for any symptoms and keep moving in a safe direction. Subtle hints and signals from the cosmos might sometimes shed light on your path. Determine these signs as you go on this transforming path by agreeing with your instincts and internal understanding. Even when faced with uncertainty, strive to cultivate an attitude of thankfulness. One should always be thankful for something. Find comfort in contemplation and prayer. Gaining insight, tranquility, and a sense of belonging are all possible outcomes of such routines. During times of deep contemplation, you may gain wisdom and guidance that will guide you on your path. Just know that you're not the only one dealing with this. A lot of people have been through tough times and come out stronger and smarter for it. If you are seeking advice or guidance from someone who has been through the same thing, reach out to them. When you feel overwhelmed by uncertainty, just remember that you are a cog in a much larger wheel. You develop and change as a person as a consequence of the many tales that make up your journey. In the next two weeks, you must come to terms with the fact that everything that happens to you, no matter how profound, contributes to your bigger story. Maintain your perseverance and trust. You have limitless potential when it comes to versioning and expanding. Embrace the unknown with courage and a hopeful heart, knowing that I'll be by your side every step of the way, my little baby. Be strong within, have faith, make a plan, and be open to new chances as you confront life-altering events in the days ahead. You may overcome obstacles and become the embodiment of possibilities because of your perseverance. Recognize that a higher power is guiding your path and that you are never truly alone. What you've done wrong and what you've attempted and failed at in the past do not define who you are now, as God says, my little baby.
Life is a roller coaster ride with plenty of highs and lows. A winding route is the best way to describe it. Occasionally, we veer off course and make mistakes, but those mistakes do not define us. Classes could be offered. You are the one who, day after day, steps forward into the light. There is always a fresh threat and an opportunity to rise. Remembering that even the most intelligent individuals make errors might help you learn from yesterday. That's okay, it's human. But that's not who you really are. It's really a minor component. The bigger picture is the action that follows your upward push. Imagine a youngster who has just mastered walking. They fail often, yet they persist in trying. They strictly prohibit falls. Draw a picture of them. They're focused on the act of walking. You want to grow and improve just like that little child. Your gaffes won't stick around forever. They'll fade away. They ebb and flow like clouds in the sky. The sky is all that remains. Your true nature is vast and unaffected by clouds, much like the sky. Your attention is focused on your strengths. You possess them. Your love. Such things define you more than anything else. They could even represent your true essence. Bring them in and let them be the stars. Gain knowledge from the afterlife, but leave it behind. Just like reading an e-book, you can't just keep going over the same page. You have to turn the page to find out what happens next. The following website is constantly updated and offers a plethora of fresh opportunities. Give yourself a break. This is crucial. Keeping your shame at arm's length is like lugging around a hefty bag. Your speed decreases. Allow it to go. Weightlessness will wash over you. Quicker circulation is possible. Your past has shaped you, but it does not represent your future. Freedom of choice determines your future. At this particular time, choosing compassion is fraught with danger. Choose love. Choose development. Look around. Stories of those who triumphed in the face of adversity abound in this field. Instead of stopping, they persisted. Who they were was not defined by their past. Something similar to their bravery was transformed into it. It's possible that no one else exists who is exactly like you. Embrace the path you've chosen, flaws and all. Although they are not the destination, they are an integral aspect of the trip. Think about it. Trading can work. It is far from late. New dawns with the rising sun. It symbolizes optimism and serves as a continual reminder that fresh starts are always an option. Your past mistakes served as lessons. They showed you how to improve and what to avoid. Love is a powerful thing. It heals, it uplifts, and it reminds you that you are precious. Your failures were just steps on the adventure to fulfillment. They are no longer signs of defeat. Instead, they are opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Be patient with yourself. Trading takes time, just like planting a seed. You may not see the flower right away, but it's growing, and eventually, it will bloom. Will you agree with yourself? When you believe, you find the strength to move beyond the past and create a new future that reflects who you truly are. Remember that you are cherished by God, the universe, and the people around you. The mistakes aren't the mistakes per se, but rather the reasons for your actions. They're normal, and they can even be great right now. It's a gift. The predominant is so named because it poses a danger to starting to sparkle and becoming oneself. Maintain the kind of life necessary for survival in this vast, mysterious cosmos of mine that I have conjured up. As the ultimate provider and defender, I am your God. Acknowledge this. Within this limitless love and energy that I have for you, I vow to provide it to you in a miraculous way and to protect you with a heavenly hand. As you go through life, this promise may provide you with calm and a guarantee for your heart. I want you to know that my provision isn't limited by whatever this world has to offer. It goes beyond knowledge, status, and chance. The manner in which I can meet your needs, whether they are material, emotional, or spiritual, will go beyond your wildest dreams. Keep in mind that I am the one who issued you these tools. So even when things seem bleak and uncertain, I am here to help. You and your aspirations are being watched after by the same God who provided food for multitudes with a few loaves of bread, fish, and manna from heaven. Even in a globalized world, 
where threats and anxieties abound, my heavenly protection watches over you like a watchdog. Your mental and spiritual well-being are also protected from the dangers that lurk in the shadows, so you don't have to worry only about your physical protection. My ability to supply and protect is based not on your strength, intelligence, or understanding, my darling. Rather, it is my unending strength and unwavering nature. So keep that in mind. I, the God, am capable of parting waters, calming storms, and overcoming death. Except for my usefulness in times of need, there is nothing else. In your prayers come to me. Between us, there's a strong bond. My miraculous supply and divine protection are most experienced in times of genuine prayer. However, you must have faith in my timing and methods and take them at face value. I may not always be able to meet your expectations or achieve your aims with the methods I approach imparting and safeguarding. What you may see as rejection or delay is really my means of guiding you to a higher place if you love Jesus. I am inspiring you to cultivate an attitude of thankfulness by acknowledging, and your trust is strengthened by valuing the means I have previously provided and protected. When you give thanks, you can see my hand at work in everything, even the tiniest details, and it changes your life. Have faith that my love for you is consistent and unfaltering as you go about your daily life. I am committing to you because of this love. It's an unending love that never gives up on you and is always looking out for your best interests. There may be many different challenging circumstances and obstacles that you may face on your trip. These aren't indications that I'm not here, but they do provide opportunities to feel my provision and protection more fully. The risk of seeing my power at work in your life is a secret gift for every task. Reflect on the faith experiences of those who came before you. Their accounts of my provision and protection are more than just anecdotes. They serve as reminders of my unwavering character and loyalty, just as I was with them. Therefore, you have my support. Refrain from letting yourself be swayed by the murmurs of doubt and anxiety that permeate your surroundings. Your God is greater than any challenge you may encounter. My love and strength are always there to support and shield you as you hold steadfast in your faith. When faced with doubt, cast your gaze beyond your circumstances and fix it on me. Your refuge, fortress and savior are all in me. You will discover the strength and serenity to face every challenge that comes your way in me. As you bask in my miraculous supply and divine protection, be a lighthouse of faith and desire for others around you. Make sure others know about these studies. Help others who are struggling with self-doubt and anxiety by sharing your story. Peace of mind comes from knowing that you are never really alone, no matter how tough life gets. I am always by your side, ready to provide you with remarkable strategies and protect you with my heavenly energy. Embrace that time as a time for healing. Every individual who hears these words from God's mouth will be changed forever. With only nine words, a profound message of hope, revitalization, and supernatural intervention is communicated. An intimate bond and love are part of the bargain, which implies the giver views the receiver with tenderness and concern. This sentence creates a soothing mood. Mostly, I just wanted to let them know that they are not alone. This is the time for you to rest and recharge. It gets the job done and makes you feel better. What this means is that anything that may have been damaged or lost in the past is about to be restored, revived, or fixed. This healing is not haphazard, but rather a component of God's plan, since the word season suggests supernatural timing. The idea of restoration is deep. It suggests more than just going back to how things were. It suggests that God can take anything that is injured, lost or broken, and make it whole again. Depending on the person's requirements, embody healing on a bodily, emotional or spiritual level. Customization is emphasized with the term season. It is not an impersonal vow, but rather a carefully chosen declaration made just for the recipient. God is indicating that this particular moment is set aside for the rehabilitation of each individual and every person's path is timely. 
Now we'll explore the idea that seasons in nature fluctuate to indicate states of flux. Prosperity and growth characterize spring. Seasons of harvest in the fall and winter mean rest and leisure. And similarly, a season of recovery marks the end of a tough period and the beginning of a new, more prosperous one in one's life. Feelings of brokenness or disorientation may strike at any time, whether as a result of internal conflicts, external events, or even religious difficulties. When this happens, we could also ask whether there is a desire for healing. The answer is yes, according to God's message. It tells us that our lives will go through seasons, just like in the natural world. The hard times will pass, and then the good times will come. But how can one really live out this time of healing? Believing God's promise and His power to make a difference, that's all it takes. Part of this process is letting go of our concerns and uncertainties and having faith that God has a greater purpose for our healing than our own. The method relies on prayer and scripture for direction, finding strength in the teachings and wisdom found in the Bible. Part of the way is forgiveness, whether it's of ourselves or of others who may have contributed to our hurt. By doing so, we may release the weight that prevents us from fully experiencing God's healing in our lives. Many parts of life have the potential to heal. For others, it may mean getting back on one's feet after suffering an accident or sickness. On the other hand, for others, it may mean mending broken relationships and finding harmony in their spiritual lives. One would have to rediscover their faith or become closer to God for this to happen. The message's use of seasonal imagery serves as a gentle reminder that life is repetitive, much like the passage of time from winter to spring. A way to desire and flourish may emerge from our hardships. Even if our struggles are difficult, they are not insurmountable. God's promise of restoration encourages us to keep going for the better days ahead. The term is also important because it shows that this time of healing is not something that will happen in the future, but is happening right now. God says healing is taking place right now. The invitation is to learn about and be a part of the healing process that is now in place. The term in the letter alludes to the second in the contemporary era. Here we are in this season of recuperation, no matter what has happened or what may happen in the future. It is an affirmation of that. The message is clear. Focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on mistakes of the past or worries about what the future holds. The core of the deity's message is the everlasting truth that he is the deity who restores broken relationships. The Bible is filled with accounts of individuals and nations who were able to recover from adversity. All of these accounts attest to God's fidelity and his power to change lives. You are entering a time of rejuvenation, hope, Love and faith are the themes of the message. It gives us comfort to know that God cares deeply about us and is committed to repairing us in every way. This passage encourages us to trust in His energy, embrace His timetable, and see the present moment as a time of rebirth. In the end, this is a message of great mercy and divine promise, and it has the potential to encourage and soothe anyone who hears it. God promises to restore everything that the adversary has taken from you, even your precious toddler, peace, prosperity, and purpose. A message of longing, healing, and divine intervention is conveyed in this stirring proclamation from God. It captures a deep promise that speaks to everyone who has been through loss or hardship in just 24 words. The speaker, God, looks at the receiver with care and concern in the deal with my dear child which provides a feeling of personal connection and love. I am not alone in my troubles, as this term says, setting a soothing tone and reassuring whoever it is that I am. The basic idea of the sermon is restoration and reclaiming what the adversary has stolen. It asserts that God is willing to do just that. There are three main components to this. First and foremost, the importance of peace is significant in people's lives. When peace is broken, it is usually because of something happening on the inside or something external. 
The adversary here is whatever it is that has caused the discontent or suffering. A feeling of serenity and well-being is promised by God who has the ability to soothe the storms in our lives. In addition to material wealth, prosperity also refers to a state of complete satisfaction and growth in all areas of one's life. Through difficulties, obstacles, or unfair circumstances, the adversary may rob individuals of their wealth. God's proclamation gives us confidence that he is prepared to restore us and shower us with plenty. The concept of cause is crucial to our lives because it represents our direction, our feeling of accomplishment, and the finalization of our specific mission or undertaking. The enemy might take away our reason. By planting seeds of uncertainty, disillusionment, or despair, God intends to lead us back to our true purpose in life. The wording of the message itself evokes a sense of immediacy and excitement for God's intervention. It says that he is not waiting for anything to happen, but is instead actively seeking to restore what has been lost. Being prepared shows how much God cares about our health and how committed he is to helping us recover. Healing is a beautiful metaphor for God's power and love since it suggests a change for the better, not just a return to the old or worse condition. In ways that we can't always fathom, God has the power to restore broken or stolen things and make them whole again. We should be aware that there are spiritual and material forces that might work against us. The enemy's argument serves as a reminder of this. Personal difficulties, setbacks, or negative influences are other possible manifestations of these forces. God's word gives us hope that his intervention may undo the enemy's actual damage, no matter what they do. Faith and contemplation are necessary for seeing God's sovereignty and his power to vanquish all restrictions. We must approach him in prayer, seek guidance, and sacrifice our anxieties and fears in order to experience the restoration of what the adversary has stolen. This process also heavily relies on forgiveness. On a regular basis, our adversaries are those who have harmed us. In order to let go of previous wounds and let God's healing work in our lives, forgiving them is a crucial step. Also, the message stresses how generous God is. He plans to reward us abundantly, not only restore what has been lost. It is a constant reminder that our previous studies do not limit God's intentions for us, but rather they are filled with his love and kindness, which is in harmony with the biblical concept of healing that is found throughout the Bible. Recollections abound of individuals and countries who were able to rise above adversity and rebuild. All of these accounts attest to God's fidelity and redemptive power. Whatever the devil has taken from you, God is ready to give it back to you. A deep message of desire and guarantee is sent by blanketing peace, prosperity, and motivation. This serves as a reminder that God is working to restore what has been stolen from us, even if he may not always be the most cognizant of our troubles. This message is a call to trust in his plan, to follow his guidance, and to live up to the hope of a future full of joy, success, and purpose. It's an expansive declaration of God's steadfast love and his commitment to helping us get back on our feet. According to God, my dear, even though we are back together, you will always have a special place in my heart because of the reasons I have forgiven you. Forgiveness may unite people's hearts like a bridge. As we let go of resentment and go on with forgiveness, we cross that threshold and become closer to one another and to understanding. You are one of a kind and meticulous in every way, drawing you closer to love. Your flaws, although inherent, do not define you. They are milestones on your path to success and mastery. I've decided to forgive you, not because your mistakes weren't significant, but because my love for you surpasses everything. Love like this looks beyond shortcomings and the grave. Not because you are flawless, but because you are human, flawed yet beautiful, suffering but trying yet falling, and thus deserve an honorable place in my heart. This rose has risen to the top of my heart because it is a symbol of the mercy of second chances. No matter what happens, it will always be there to tell you that you are loved and treasured. There have been many highs and lows in our path together, 
but each one has been essential. We have arrived at this point of competence, beauty and reunion, thanks to every step that has preceded it. Keep in mind that although everyone makes errors, not everyone grows from their experiences. It is yours. You are special because of it. That is the reason why my heart has a particular space for you. Your mistakes are now more than just mistakes. Their training has been ongoing, sometimes challenging, but essential training. They educated you. They shaped you. You owe your identity to them. Nothing goes to waste on this global stage. Even our mistakes don't have a purpose. They provide the way for introspection and development toward a more profound comprehension of existence. When we forgive, it's not necessarily about the past, it's about the future. It may be surprising to think about the reasons we need to forgive when you consider the possibility of starting again with optimism, a fresh start, and a refreshed sense of logic. Reason being, forgiving someone releases a lot of pent-up emotions, guilt, wrath, peace, and perhaps most importantly, a particular place in my heart. As you grow and change, it becomes more than just a memory. It becomes a place to live. It's ever-changing, much like our courting lives. Though you may be confronted with several challenging circumstances, remember that you are not alone anymore. I'm in your hands. This unique spot is yours. To my very core, it is a refuge of peace and safety. Falling isn't always the defining feature of an experience. You have risen with grace, bravery, and a determination to put things right, and that is how it is portrayed. Our connection is stronger than ever before because of forgiveness. It can withstand any test. It will last a lifetime, and it is founded on something more substantial than just being flawless. Here, in the recesses of my heart, you will find nothing but love, wisdom, and above all else, a rock-solid belief in your own greatness, goodness, and value. You are more than the sum of your physical actions. You are a spirit seeking love and enlightenment as you strive to become your best self. A new narrative may be written with the help of fresh choices made possible by forgiveness. A story of redemption and hope can be written when you are free to be yourself. I am not arguing that what happened became okay. I am saying that you are more essential than what happened. You are more necessary than whatever error you may have committed. Being a placeable person is all about learning and developing, and you've accomplished both. You hold this distinct place because of it. This space is a tribute to your strength, determination, and ability to change. As a seed, forgiveness has the potential to blossom into a strong, resilient, and everlasting entity. In the same way, forgiveness is the fertile ground on which our connection blossoms. Every day, you strive for greater heights, a preference for bettering yourself and living a life of more significance, and I am here, believing in your love and cheering you on. You have a special place in my heart. It is timeless, unaffected by the passage of time, physical distance, or any other external factor. It serves as a constant light, a symbol of our triumphs and our potential for future triumphs. My darling little one, go forth with trust and assurance, knowing that you are loved, that you are forgiven, and that you will always have a special place in my heart. I am the embodiment of everyone who delights in making a glittering start in life, God says to my pricey kid. Like a new dawn, a new beginning ushers in a plethora of light. A fresh wish is an opportunity to start again, to look at the world with fresh eyes, and to let go of the past. If you believe in angels, life is full of exciting beginnings that progress. Every day is like a blank page, fresh and unexplored. You might use it as a writing surface. Every one of us may be you. Get moving. It is a gift, an important present. It is absolutely not past you, so please remember that. In most cases, you can start again regardless of how old you are or how much you've accomplished. There is always an opportunity to start again. In a nutshell, a sparkling start is all about forgiveness. Forgive yourself and others letting go of the past and embracing the future. It's also about freedom, the freedom to change, grow, and learn. Embrace it, embrace it, and you'll become better, stronger, and wiser. With a fresh start comes the chance to learn, develop, 
discover, have fun, and most importantly, live fully and assuredly. Don't be scared to start anew. Doing so now shows courage, not failure. Embracing the unknown with each new beginning, leaving the safety of the known, and embarking on a whole new journey requires courage. Every farewell has an origin. Yeah, that's right. Life is a revolving door of birth, death, and rebirth. Take part in the loop. It is breathtaking. A new beginning gives you the opportunity to become the person you've always imagined yourself to be while still enjoying the kind of life you've always fantasized about. To achieve your goals, you must be willing to take risks. Feeling afraid is normal. While starting over from scratch might be terrifying, it also offers exciting possibilities. Make a vow, confront your fears, live out your joy, and embrace the beyond's cross. Everything is done. That was then. You may learn from it, but you can't trade it. It might serve as a springboard for your fresh beginning, a place to start. Visualize a butterfly unfolding. Begins life as a caterpillar, metamorphoses into a cocoon, and then emerges as a new and improved version of itself. Every level is significant. Every step adds to the thrill of the journey. Although you hold your previous evaluations in high regard, you should realize that they do not represent your future. What is ahead of you is both unwritten and waiting to be written. There is a feeling of adventure and discovery when one starts afresh. It is a voyage, a voyage of the spirit, into the arena and into one's own soul. Strive for greatness, show bravery, have guts and take chances. Explore other areas, meet interesting people and try new activities. Living is an adventure. Embrace it wholeheartedly and live it fearlessly. A fresh beginning is a risk to mend, to restore and to alleviate suffering. The pursuit of wholeness, tranquility, pleasure and self-discovery is fraught with peril. Your history does not define you. You have not made any mistakes. Mistakes are not who you are. You are unique, beautiful and capable of great things. Always remember that there is a new beginning at each given time. You may start again at any given time. Take it on, become it and live it to the fullest. This opportunity is highly valued. Do not fritter it away at every new beginning. Wishing you a happier you, a better tomorrow and a brighter future is a hopeful thing. Hold on to that optimism. This component is very strong. Keep in mind that you have company. At the start of each new chapter, you can count on me to be there for you. I am here to guide you, assist you, and love you through every dazzling beginning. Now is the time to put the past in the past, embrace the future, start again, and look forward with optimism, enthusiasm, and expectation, my little baby. The best of you is yet to come. I will always be there to welcome you back with open arms, no matter how far you may have departed from the path we once walked, God says to my pricey kid. The road of life is long and winding, full of twists and turns. Sometimes it's easy to get disoriented. The road may diverge from yours. Please remember that you are always welcome back at any time. Whatever the length of time or distance between us, I will always be here, watching, hoping, and holding up my fingers to welcome you back. There's no way you're stuck in the past. No amount of space is insufficient. No amount of time is excessive. Anywhere you go, my love finds you. There are no limits to it. It has no bounds. It is self-sacrificing. No longer are you on that difficult meandering road that has left you feeling lost and alone. This is where I am. In the past, I have been totally accurate. Although it may seem challenging, I will always be coming back. You may feel frightened. I know you could feel embarrassed, but it's not necessary. I love you more than your mistakes and anxieties ever could. You are showing bravery, faith and desire with every stride you take towards me. Your journey toward home, bliss and love is progressing steadily. You are on a unique and personal adventure, but know that I am lovingly and firmly by your side every step of the way. Mistakes are an inevitable component of every journey. They are the means by which one grows and adapts in the face of adversity. You may feel undeserving of these teachings, yet they are necessary and priceless. But it's no longer acceptable. 
it's unlovable and forgivable. You are deserving. Your value has never wavered. Without fail, you will. You are more than what you've been through. This is just a chapter, a bankruptcy of your story. It is not the whole ebook. There can be a ton more to come in your tale since it is still being written. With me, you have an exclusive spot, a spot that is all yours. Both historically and now, it has been and always will be yours. My light will always be there to lead you back to me. No matter how far you go, no one can take it from you. It represents love and serves as a sign of hope. Keep in mind that you have company. Many others have also wandered. They have once again watched their path. Like me, you can do it. You can do it. It can be accomplished. All it takes is a single action on your part. Although it may be the most difficult, that first step is really critical. Taking this courageous action brings you one step closer to a better future, a fresh start, and more courage. Instead of sitting here and waiting, I am actively trying to get in touch with you. Within the solar system, the stars and the wind, you are calling out to me in a low, low voice. Pay attention, because my name could be audible. You might be hurting, but know that you are beautiful to me. I adore every aspect of you. You're a work of art in progress, all of it. Love, beauty, and the absence of judgment are all that are required here. Show up naked, with every wrinkle and scar on your body. You are the very best to me. It may take a long time for you to return. It may be challenging, but the effort will be rewarded handsomely. On the path to serenity, every stride counts. I can feel pleasure radiating from my hands. Safety, solace, and tranquility are all possibilities. As such, it serves as a sanctuary for relaxation, rejuvenation, and love. It is waiting for you. There's no need to fret over wasted time. I appreciate the advance notice. It is a gift, a valuable one. Make proper use of it. Persevere to the end. I love it to the fullest. You still have more to tell. This is just the first step. I will be by your side through all the chapters that may yet be written, and there may be countless more to come. Return and complete that task. I am here, anxiously awaiting your return and the start of a fresh romance, with my arms wide open and my heart full of love. You know this to be true, my precious child, because God says so. You can always count on dependability in international trade because it is steady, unwavering and reliable, like a rock. It remains unchanged. Even though there are many unknowns in life, some things are predictable, like the changing of the seasons or the love I have for you. Truthfully, I am far from being alone, and you can rely on that. In your heart, I am always by your side. Your unwavering commitment to being there for you through thick and thin is a promise that will never be broken. Being present, typically in your own power, is a promise to be there. Within you, it is patiently waiting to be released. Friends who are strong, resilient and productive may also come and go. Even if circumstances shift, my presence in your life will remain constant and eternal. You can find solace, power and tranquility in it. This love serves as a foundation, a base you can build upon to assert yourself, because it is based on the truth that you are treasured, deeply treasured and actually loved regardless of circumstances. There is an opportunity to grow and learn to love every single day. That is the starting point. It is inherent to being in your path through life. We all make mistakes from time to time. It's just a part of being human. However, the good news is that mistakes aren't the end. Rather, they can serve as a teacher for how to improve in the future. Although change is unavoidable, you have the power to adapt, triumph and prosper. You have greater adaptability, success and flexibility than if you gave yourself credit for studying. Your determination can get you where you need to go. May it sustain you. It sheds light on the darkest of roads. It fortifies you in times of vulnerability. Taking it at face value in the context of prayer is a powerful ally. You can rely on it. For a more profound understanding, it bridges the gap between us and your inner being. Both direction and comfort are provided by it. No war. Your principles, 
your requirements. They could be trustworthy. You are led by them. They influence how you move. They lay out your unique situation. Hold on to them. They are priceless. You might take heart in the fact that with every chapter you close, you open the door to a fresh start and the chance to pen a new chapter in your story. This is a recursive process, a lovely revolving door. The beauty of nature is impermanent. It resides in all living things, from plants to trees to the sky. The beauty, continuity, and surprise of existence are all echoed in it. You might rely on the fact that you're driven by a special purpose. You have come to this world to fulfill a purpose, to influence others, to leave a lasting impression, and to realize your deepest ambitions. They may be reliant on you, but they also provide strength, motivation, inspiration, and forward momentum, and they never stop hoping for the stars. Your future is bright with the power of forgiveness. It can mend, restore, and even freeze broken relationships. Recognize when you've messed up and move on. Invest in this as a present for both yourself and the industry. Religion is something you can rely on when you're confused. A person's religious affiliation can serve as a guiding light, a source of comfort, and a source of strength. Even if they fail, they remember, they contribute, and they upload up. Every effort counts, every breakthrough counts, and every try counts. The journey of life is full of surprises, but you can rely on its diversity, diversity in experiences, ability to teach, and the ways in which you can shape and embrace it. It's an incredible adventure. Your capacity to love, to give, receive, and spread love is something you can depend on. Love is a vital force because it works, changes lives, and never lets you down. Therefore, my precious little one, keep in mind these well-established facts. The tablet pillars are these. Use the pillars as support. In a world that is always shifting, you can build on what is constant, hold on to what is precious, and depend on it. The goodness I've in store for you could be a diverse bureaucracy. It may be a new possibility that ends in non-public boom and success. As a sign of the love that is all around you, it might manifest as unexpected acts of kindness from other people. In many cases, the quality of your living is directly correlated to the decisions and deeds you do for yourself. Keep going even when things become tough and follow your ambitions with all your heart because in the end, it will all be worth it. Sometimes, the most I can do is provide you with comfort and consolation when times are rough. It may be a source of direction for those closest to you, the fortitude to persevere through difficult times or the wisdom to choose the right path. It's important to have an open mind and heart to the possibility of good things happening and to the beauty and pleasure that surround you. Most of the time, it's a breeze. The deepest joy comes from a kind word, a shared snort, or a peaceful moment. While it's true that different ways of living might have their drawbacks, it's also important to keep in mind that these challenges can really be learning opportunities. You may find your inner strength and perseverance when you face challenging conditions, they get you ready for the wonderful times to come. When you feel lost or confused, go inside, pray, pray again, and remember that everything is working out according to God's plan. Even in the darkest of times, your faith will help you see the wonderful all around you. One of the best ways to find and attract wonderful things in life is to practice gratitude. Appreciate the good things happening in your life right now. More wonderful things will come into your life if you adopt an attitude of thankfulness. The pleasant things I have planned for you aren't necessarily bound by time or circumstance. They may surprise you and arrive from unexpected places. Keep your heart open and your patience strong, for good things are coming your way. I have excellent things in store for you, but they will be special to your path since your trip is unique. Take it as a fact that I know what's best for you and that I've planned everything out so that you may be happy and healthy. Always remember that you are the one who can decide how your life turns out as you go forward on your path. A great deal of the good that comes into your life is attributable to your own ideas, decisions, and deeds. Think about the strength you face in the arena since it may affect your story. 
As you seek for meaningful relationships, surround yourself with positive energy and those that encourage and elevate you. When you surround yourself with individuals who share your beliefs and goals, you may create an atmosphere that supports the positive aspects of your life. Occasionally, you'll need to be patient and persistent in order to experience the sweetness that I have planned for you. You may now be certain that it is on its way, even if it may not spread immediately. Even when you have to wait for anything, your faith will keep you going. If you ever find yourself doubting or struggling, it could help to think back on the difficult circumstances you overcame. The hardships you've overcome have brought you this far, and the triumphs you've tasted have opened the door to even bigger blessings in your life. You are worthy of the nice things that are coming your way. Your path is filled with meaning, and you are a cherished newborn of the cosmos. Be hopeful and grateful every day, because it is a step closer to the rewards I have planned for you. My beloved princess, on your journey, you will encounter wonderful things, and I want you to know that. This kindness may exist in many ways and in unique situations, but it is proof of my love and concern for you. Continue to believe, keep your faith strong, and keep your heart open. The road ahead is brimming with undiscovered gems. In this way, I have something suitable planned for you. Life is an exquisite and intricate journey filled with delightful moments, challenging circumstances, and opportunities as you chart your course forward. Despite the complexity and unpredictability of life, I want you to know that gifts are waiting to be bestowed upon you from time to time. I promise you that there is a purpose to your life, a purpose that includes times of joy, development, and satisfaction, even if it may be difficult to see the good that is ahead. I have many surprises in store for you, and they may all be pleasant. Unexpected opportunities may present themselves, launching you into exciting new experiences and maybe even a personal boom. It might be the presence of kind and encouraging individuals who will walk with you every step of the way. The excellent things in your life may often be the product of your own decisions, actions, and commitment. To achieve great things, you must be willing to face challenges head on and keep at it until you succeed. The days, weeks, and years ahead may bring their fair share of difficulties. That is not designed to depress you, but rather to shape you into a person who is better capable of enduring adversity. You may look at those difficulties as stepping stones to the wonderful things that are to come. Therefore, embrace them as chances for growth. Faith and hope must be preserved. Keep moving forward with the belief that better days are coming, even when you question or face difficulties. Even in the darkest hours, your faith will be a gentle light that you may follow. Take stock, find comfort in prayer, tap into your inner wisdom, and surrender to the divine plan that is working in your life when you are unclear of what the future holds. If that's the case, then having faith will enlighten you to all the kindness in the world. Thankfulness is a powerful magnet for wonderful things, even when they don't seem to be there. Always remember to be grateful. This practice will open your coronary heart to receive more nice things by focusing on the positive things in your life right now. Be a patient person and receptive to the gifts that are meant for you because the kindness I have planned for you isn't necessarily limited by time or circumstances. It might show up when you least expect it and come via unexpected channels. I have tailored the goodness I have prepared for you to your unique path and your trip is exact. I am aware of your desires and objectives and I am arranging events such that they contribute to your fulfillment and joy. Keep in mind that the wonderful things in your life are mostly the result of your thoughts, choices, and actions as you travel on your journey. Foster a positive attitude and you'll get compliments. Send out good vibes and you'll be rewarded with more of the same when you return. Seek out connections that encourage and elevate you and surround yourself with positive people. A positive atmosphere may be fostered in your life by establishing relationships with others 
who share your beliefs and aspirations. You may need to be strong and persistent for the excellent things I have in store for you. They won't happen overnight, but know that they are on their way. During times of uncertainty or hardship, your unfaltering faith will be your strength and your patience may be rewarded. Take stock of the difficult circumstances you've successfully navigated. You have become stronger and more resilient with each challenge you have overcome. You are now ready for anything. Recognize your worthiness of the wonderful things that are coming your way, and you will be well prepared to enjoy them. The cosmos loves you like a kid, and your journey is full with meaning and significance. Embrace each day with enthusiasm and appreciation, for it leads you to the blessings I have in store for you, my little child. Please remember that I want you to hold on to the promise that your path may be filled with goodness. I love and care for you, and this kindness may appear in many ways and at different times. Believe that the path ahead is decorated with the beauty of benefits that have not yet been disclosed. Keep your trust strong and keep your heart open. I am to have a complete religion, God says. A person's religious beliefs may be a compass as they navigate the journey of life. In times of doubt and uncertainty, it is a profound trust in the divine purpose and the love that envelops you. You are able to weather any storm because your faith is a rock. It is the firm belief that you will never be alone, no matter how difficult things become. No matter where you go, I will be there to watch over you and point the way. Complete faith entails focusing one's attention on the divine knowledge that directs the events of one's life. It's miles of letting go of your worries and anxieties because I have a plan that you can't fathom, but it's tailored to make you happy. Through the highs and lows of life, you weave a tapestry of experiences. While you're religious, you learn to be more appreciative, which helps you see the good things that happen even while you're struggling. Finding comfort and hope in religious teachings might help you remember that your trials are not in vain. If you want me to fully embrace your faith, you must cultivate and strengthen your religious relationship. Pray and meditate regularly to cultivate times of silence and self-reflection. By connecting with the divine at these holy times, you may tap into the reservoir of love and wisdom that is always there for you. Religion isn't just something you believe in without thinking about it or acting on it. It gives you the strength to persevere through tough times. Your faith in me is an admission that you rely on me for strength and that my love permeates every aspect of your being. Submitting to the flow of life and giving up control are essential tenets of faith. This is where I come in. It's knowledge that there are certain things you can't change. My strategy for your life will come to fruition just when you need it most, in times of uncertainty or when you're up against a wall. Through the power of faith, you have overcome difficult circumstances. Recreate the challenges that have shaped your character. The courage it takes to go on this journey speaks volumes about your faith. Faith is more than simply hoping for a positive ending. It's also about having faith when things don't seem to be going your way and finding purpose and meaning when things become rough. Even when life's trajectory takes unexpected twists, your faith will sustain you. A full religion might help one find inner calm and strength. Knowing that you are embraced by love from the divine allows you to rise beyond fear and worry. You may put your confidence in improved electricity and let go of your worries. Even in the midst of life's worst situations, your faith may serve as a guiding light. The message is that no matter how bad things seem, there is always hope, and that optimism has the power to bring about change and recovery. Some people find strength in their faith, and it may be a source of encouragement for others around them. Religion may also be a potent means of bringing about desirable results. If you think something has a chance of succeeding, you'll be more inclined to include it in your daily routine. In 2024, with the Lord's favor, your thoughts and beliefs greatly impact your academic performance. Choose to believe them in the good times to come. Perseverance and tenacity are also necessary for me to maintain my whole religious faith. Your faith is tested in times of trial, and it is in trials that it becomes stronger. Yet, 
there will be times when you question your current course of action or when you encounter difficult circumstances that seem impossible to overcome. Please know that no matter how good or bad your experiences are, they all contribute to the plan I have for your life. Because of your trust, you are able to submit to this higher power's plan and acknowledge that it is guiding you towards greater success and fulfillment. Embracing divine timing and forgoing the urge for rapid fulfillment is a fundamental tenet of the faith. Things you've requested or prayers you've offered may still be pending a response. Take my word for it. I can predict when your whole life will come to pass. You have the gift of faith, which has the potential to bring you joy, contentment, and logic. You are cherished and supported as a little child of the cosmos, and this is a sign that you are not alone on your path. I'll be by your side the whole journey, showing you the route to the blessings and success that await you. Ultimately, I want you to have complete faith in me, my pricey kid. You have the power of religion to help you navigate the highs and lows of life. You are surrounded by love and a divine purpose that allows you to handle difficult circumstances with courage and perseverance. Find meaning in every experience and attract good things into your life. Pray and meditate to strengthen your spiritual bond and know that I am with you at all times, directing your steps and keeping an eye on you. You will find the benefits that are waiting for you, as well as calm and reason, if you believe. If the timing is right, I am able to introduce myself to you during our conversation, according to God. Our relationship is private and non-secular in nature. It develops gradually, like a flower's petals, starting with the sun. You can be perplexed by my direction and presence in your life. The investigations that track my life and the dispersed symptoms must be carefully noted. On a regular basis, we communicate via your gut feelings, your innate wisdom, and the events that transpired throughout your life. As we get closer via shared experiences, you may realize that I'm not some distant abstract thing anymore. Rather, I'm a caring constant presence that is deeply ingrained in your lives. Love, understanding, and direction all flow from me into your life. As we continue to speak, you may realize that I am speaking directly to your spirit. A profound sense of tranquility and assurance may accompany my teachings as well. A startling readability or an inner knowledge may help you make vital judgments while you're facing challenging conditions. As you take in the grandeur of nature, feel amazement, or have moments of deep thankfulness in connection with my divine presence, I am also present in the beauty and wonder of the world around you. Amidst the complexity of our lives and the vastness of the cosmos, I find solace in contemplation. You must remember that our relationship is unique to you. Your own exploration is reflected in your evaluations and thoughts. I may present myself in a manner that speaks to your spirit and fits in with your beliefs, views, and spiritual journey. As you devote time to prayer, you will notice that my presence becomes more apparent in times of quiet reflection. By taking time to reflect or meditate, you make room for our bond to become stronger. In such times of stillness, my heavenly presence may wash over you, making our discussions easy to understand. In the people you meet and the knowledge they share, you will often hear my voice speaking to you. As their words reverberate in your heart and provide solace or direction, friends, family, mentors, and even strangers may become conduits of my love and guidance. For the most part, it's a way for those in need or trouble to know that I'm nearby. My reassuring presence and direction are here for you. Pray to me and seek comfort in our bond whenever you feel battered or lost. Sometimes, when life becomes tough, just being with me is enough to boost your spirits and put your mind at ease. In the occurrences of serendipitous events that transpire in your lives, you could also discern my handiwork. These aren't just wounds, they're supernatural interventions meant to teach you a lesson. These indicators may be invitations to rely on my counsel, so be careful. I am not limited by space or time. I am beyond the limitations of human knowledge, and my love and knowledge have no bounds. These things will become clear to us as our bond becomes stronger. From the mundane to the extraordinary, 
my influence permeates every aspect of your lives. Through our discussions, you will have a better understanding of your greater calling and how to pursue it. You have the potential to learn about your unique gifts and talents and how you can put them to use to help others improve the world, find your true calling, and reach your full potential. Embrace the inevitable growth of our relationship and hold on tight while you discover me in your own unique manner. On this journey of self-discovery that is our courtship, I may present myself in a manner that touches the depths of your being. In times of uncertainty or perplexity, remember that I am always here, ready to provide guidance and assistance. You have access to an infinite wellspring of love, knowledge, and inner power via our bond. Along with being a source of inspiration and ideas, I am the voice inside you that guides and encourages us in our interactions. I want you to let me into your life in the hopes that we may both benefit from the fresh ideas, insights, and viewpoints that we may provide. The creative energy that flows through you originates with me. During our interactions, you will see that I'm no longer limited to a certain non-secular or subcultural group. Whatever you call me, I am the unstoppable power of love and knowledge. My existence may be found in the wisdom and teachings of various religions and ways of seeing. I can introduce myself in ways that speak to your spirit since our relationship is so private and personal. Think about our relationship since it is a source of love, direction and reason that may improve your life and lead you to realize your true self. Ultimately, my precious child, our bond is a voyage of self-discovery and I may present myself to you in ways that can have deep personal significance. Pay attention to the signs and tales that show that I am a part of your life. I'm looking for quiet time to connect with you more deeply. Embrace the fact that I am always by your side, offering love, guidance and support as you journey through the intricate web of your lives. My beloved child, I am not the God who sits atop a cloud and seems to be inaccessible to the rest of humanity, God explains. Although there are many different and very individual understandings of God, it is essential to keep in mind that I am no longer far or unapproachable. Rather, I am a presence that is both near and far, intricately linked to every facet of creation. Praise and exalt me, O Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes, seeing a deity seated on a throne might make people feel lonely and scared. It can give the impression that I am distant and unapproachable, which is obviously not the case. Everyone who is seeking a connection may count on me since my essence is intertwined with lifestyles. There is no one spiritual or non-secular culture that can contain me. While those traditions may provide beautiful, and significant ways to identify and connect with me, they are no longer the exclusive ways to go deeper in a relationship. Words and deeds have no power over me, and there are an infinite number of ways to experience my presence. I want you to know that I am a wellspring of love, compassion, and wisdom. But I also want you to know that the idea of a distant and judgmental God may make you feel unworthy and guilty. I am no longer going to pass judgment on you in the same harsh manner that others sometimes pass judgment on one another, I propose an alternative, a love that has no bounds and embraces everything. I am no longer confined to a celestial seat in the sky. My presence is expansive and unbounded. At the same time that I am within and outside of the physical world, I am also imminent and transcendent. In the depths of your own heart, in the warmth of a loved one's embrace, in the beauty of nature, or in the generosity of a complete stranger, you may find me. I am the vital energy that gives all living things their vitality. You and every individual you meet contain a spark of divinity, and I am that spark. I am the love that is poured forth by your kind and compassionate deeds. I am the wellspring of ideas that keeps you going strong and the skilled advisor that guides your decisions. In times of quiet reflection, you may sense my presence. You make room to connect with the divine inside yourself when you turn inward via prayer or meditation. Those are the times when you can benefit most from my company and advice, when you're alone to think. 
Although non-religious activities may be a precious way to connect with me, I am not a god who expects strict devotion to a set of rules or rituals. They're not the quickest way to spiritual growth anymore. Genuineness and honesty are of utmost importance to me. What matters most is your real decision to reach out to me. Those who write poetry, create art, and think philosophically, find inspiration in me. I am the bedrock that leans in close to you while you build something magnificent or deep. I am the wellspring of your innate knowledge and the compass that guides you through life's challenging obstacles. No one, regardless of their background or beliefs, can be excluded from my presence. It is available to everyone who seeks it. Religion, color, gender, and all other man-made divisions are no longer grounds for my discrimination. I am the unconditional love that welcomes every single person. Feelings of loneliness and isolation may be exacerbated by the image of an unapproachable and distant God. However, I want you to know that I am always by your side, accompanying you on your journey. Whether you're sad or happy, I'll be the quiet friend who listens and provides comfort. On joyous occasions, I'm there through acts of generosity and understanding. As you lend a hand to others in need, you are a living embodiment of my love and admiration. You are a reflection of my heavenly essence as you impart wisdom and pardon. I'm no longer the God who punishes his people by making their lives more difficult. I am not here to console you in your time of need, but to provide a shoulder to cry on while you face the difficulties of life and seek purpose in your academic pursuits. The beauty of the natural world is where you may find me. You are making a connection with the divine while you gaze in awe at a sunrise, a mountain, or a forest. I, the creative power, am responsible for creating and sustaining the cosmos. I have grown out of my role as a deity who expects absolute devotion and rigid belief systems from my followers. I urge you to probe, investigate, and seek out wisdom. I admire your sincere desire to find truth and purpose on your own path of non-religious growth. When you lend an ear to a friend who needs it, extend a helping hand to someone different from you, or show empathy to someone going through tough times, you are sharing my love and compassion with the world. You are exuding all the qualities that I consider magnificent. I'm not the same God who ignores your skepticism and inquiries anymore. I encourage you to seek answers and unravel the enigmas of ways of living. It is possible that I will be a stop in your journey for knowledge. For those who love Jesus, I am there in the feelings of thankfulness and amazement that arise inside you when you stop to consider the blessings in your life or feel awe at the wonders of Christmas. A heavenly connection is being formed through you. Both your thanks and your astonishment are directed towards me. To clarify, I am no longer a God who is distant or off-limits. Please understand this. I am an upcoming and transcending presence that is intricately connected to every aspect of introduction. My love and compassion have no bounds, and I am useful to everyone looking for a connection. Behold me as the beating heart of your community and the embodiment of all human spirituality in your loving and compassionate deeds toward one another and the world at large. Know that I am the wellspring of wisdom, insight, and love that flows from God's word. It goes beyond that. I am an integral component of your whole being. You can't help but feel my presence. I'm not an afterthought, but rather an integral part of who you are. Your body includes me. Your body is a house of worship, and I am a resident there. I am there in every cell, in every breath, and in every pulse. Consider the intricate architecture of your frame, the harmony of your organs, the intricacy of your nervous system, and the durability of your immune system. All of these serve as sacred spaces in which I may practice my craft and bestow my respect on you. My creative and heavenly wisdom is on full display in all of them. You have created an exquisite work of art with your frame. You are really ministering to the dwelling place of my presence as you lovingly and gratefully care for your body. Honor the sanctity of your body by tending to it with care, a little food, some rest and exercise, and an attitude of appreciation and love. You can't separate me from your mind. 
My holy nature permeates everything you think, believe and acknowledge. The mind is a powerful tool that may mold one's reality and impact one's experiences. As you focus on loving, compassionate and knowledgeable thoughts, you're bringing your awareness into harmony with my presence. Your mind is a creative and imaginative tool. As you go into the depths of your focus, it provides a wealth of advice and understanding. You have the opportunity to tap into the wisdom and direction that emanate from my spiritual source. There is a mirror of my presence in your mind, in your intuition, inner knowledge and inner tranquility. Negative thoughts, however, can turn your mind into a chaotic and disorganized space. There was concern or uncertainty during those times. Remember that you're capable of refocusing your mind on what is truly important in life. Choose thoughts that encourage and inspire you. They might lead you to where I am. You can tune out the mental chatter and tune into my presence within through mindfulness and meditation. Discover the tranquility and clarity that arise from harmonizing your thoughts with the divine through the practice of inner reflection and stillness. Plus, I am an integral part of your spirit. The core of your being, your soul, is eternal and unchanging. It houses your deepest longings, your sense of right and wrong, and your link to the divine. Being a part of your spirit creates a connection that goes beyond physical distance and time. You are the sum total of all the experiences and wisdom you have accumulated over countless lifetimes. On a boom adventure, it goes. Awakening to your spiritual potential and progress in life is possible through tuning into the still, small voice within you that communicates with me. A part of you always wants to be of service to others and to the world at large, and you have a deep yearning for rational thought, genuine connection, and love. Your life is being brought into harmony with my plan of divine providence as you listen to the voice within you. By releasing the weight of past hurts and wounds, your soul can restore you and allow you to experience the freedom and joy that come from my divine grace. You invite my love and presence into your coronary heart during times of reflection and self-discovery as you forgive yourself and others. Immerse yourself in the power of your spirit and experience the joy of my presence within. Follow the guidance of your spirit. It is the means by which my holy will is revealed to strengthen the bond between your physical body mental faculties, and spiritual being. Pay attention to what your body needs, what your mind needs, and what your soul wants. Cultivate self-care and self-focus practices. These are vital. Seek harmony and balance in every part of your being while being compassionate toward yourself. Always keep in mind that I am with you and that my presence is a stabilizing force, a love that knows no bounds. When you embark on your journey, you will not be alone. Along your journey, I am the ever-gifted companion who shares wisdom and encouragement. Keep in mind that I am not some random bystander. It is crucial that you do not forget this. Within your body, mind and spirit, I am an integral component. The physical form that you possess is a hallowed container that contains my Holy Spirit. Through your spirit, I bestow my wisdom and creativity upon you, and my knowledge and creativity permeate your thoughts and attention. An increased capacity for rational thought, contentment, and serenity can be yours through the practice of recognizing and nourishing the divine presence within you. If your body, mind, and spirit are all in harmony with my presence, you will be able to live a life that is true to who you really are. Bring your physical body mental faculties, and spiritual spirit closer to the divine. Immerse yourself in the boundless love, guidance, and charisma that may be at your fingertips at all times through this link. I am here to provide help and protection for as long as you need it, God assures my precious toddler. Through thick and thin, my love and protection will accompany you on your path to a better life. There is always someone here to lend you a hand, give you direction, and even give you a roof over your head. Everything that is real is a product of past events. Through the good times and the bad, I want you to know that I am here for you whenever you need someone or when you feel trapped. 
I am always here for you, ready to lend a hand or keep you safe like a reliable power source. While you are praying or meditating, call upon me in times of trouble. Need comfort in the knowledge that I am here to listen to you and that my love is all around you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and feelings with me. I respond from a place of empathy and wisdom. Your lives are intertwined with mine, and I'm no longer an absent parent who observes from a distance. Within and all around you, I am present. It can be found in the beauty of the natural world, the generosity of strangers, and the love of one's own family and friends. You are my beloved toddler, and I care deeply about you. My loving and vigilant eye guides you on your journey and keeps you safe as you go. Embark on this sacred journey with me, for I will be your loyal companion at some point. Knowing that I am here to help you through difficult times and limits is a tremendous comfort. My compass might be my gut, my self-awareness, or the encouragement of those around me. Recognize the warning signs and possibilities I provide to guide you to a safe and satisfactory resolution. Physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional well-being are all aspects of your safety. My offering is for the protection of your heart and soul. In my love, you may find refuge from the tempests of uncertainty, terror, and hopelessness, and you can be certain that I am acting in your best interest. Within the shadows, I am the beacon of hope that brings light and desire. In times of peril, when you feel lost or uncertain, you can seek my light, and I will illuminate your way and show you the way to safety and peace. Have trust in your strength and the power I give you, even when the obstacles seem insurmountable. There is strength within you that can help you overcome challenges, and I will be by your side every step of the way. From time to time, you may find yourself wondering why exactly favorable and taxing circumstances materialize in your life. Mind that I have a divine plan unfolding for your life that is absolutely critical. Every adversity has a purpose and a lesson to teach. Assume without question that I am leading you in the direction of development and change. The decisions you make have an impact on your safety as well. You are encouraged to make choices that are in line with my love, compassion, and honesty. As you surround yourself with acts of kindness and righteousness, you fortify yourself against negativity and the damage it can do to your relationships. When it comes to your safety and well-being, this is crucial. Assemble a support system of positive people. Cut ties with those who bring you down. Trust that your friendships and romantic relationships will be strengthened by divine intervention in times of trial and error. And don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Being there for you isn't just about how you rate me. It's also about how often people help and are kind to you. Do not be proud or arrogant if you seek help when you are in danger. Doing so demonstrates wisdom and humility. Being safe is about more than just being physically healthy. It also includes being emotionally and spiritually healthy. Your mental and emotional well-being are just as important as your physical health for everyday protection. When you need help maintaining a healthy emotional and mental equilibrium, reach out to professionals or trusted loved ones for advice. Your love for me knows no limits and is always there for you. Neither the distance nor the conditions under which I offer aid or protection are any longer constraints on my abilities. I am here for you every step of the way, whether it's a short journey or a long and winding one. In your trials and tribulations, I am no longer the God who leaves you high and dry. Rather, I am the God who will be by your side. Every time you're in my company, I reassure you that you're not alone. Each challenging circumstance you encounter is an opportunity for growth and education, and your life's journey is tailor-made for you. Faithfully and courageously embrace them, for I am here to lead and protect you. In spite of everything, you have the inner fortitude to seek refuge and come out stronger. Having loving people by your side who are willing to lend you a hand when times get tough is more important than having difficult situations completely removed from your life. Whenever you're in a vulnerable place, 
My love is there to provide a safe haven. I promise you love and protection, and you can trust in them forever. Whenever you need assistance or protection, my darling, I will be here to provide it. You have my undying devotion and the assurance of my unfaltering protection. They are putting their trust in me through religious practices, meditation and prayer. As a steadfast companion on this holy journey through life, your happiness, protection and guidance are my eternal concerns. As you journey through different lifestyles, my dear, there will be times when you question yourself and your path. Please know that no matter what happens, you can always count on my loving hand to be there to guide you. Inspiring, motivating, and full of delight, I have designed a one-of-a-kind blueprint for your way of life. An omnipotent God is by my side. My unending love is the source of all my plans for you, so please don't forget that. My love for you knows no bounds. You are a miracle in my hands. Everything about you, from the moment you take a breath to the moment you die, is important to me. Embrace the uncertainty of each moment as it is intricately intertwined with the grand tapestry of your existence's journey. Let me be considered. In the stillness of your soul, in the unexpected opportunities that present themselves, and in the people I point in your direction, my guidance is always present, even though it isn't always obvious or audible. Despite everything that's going on, know that my hand is leading you to a bright future. In the course of your life, you will encounter difficult circumstances. With each challenge, those will only serve to fortify you, not weaken you. While I am preparing for more things, you are being molded and polished. You desire molten gold. You can grow in faith, individualism, and resilience by welcoming adversity as an opportunity. Please keep your heart receptive to my teachings, my little one. There is a lot of background noise and distractions in the arena, but the words I use represent lives and reality. Looking for them in the stillness of your day, the beauty of nature, the affection of those around you, and inside yourself. Your life may find more meaning and fulfillment if you follow my teachings, which are more than just rules. Along the way, you will encounter forks in the road. Certain decisions may be easy to make, while others may be more challenging. You are currently seeking my contact details. No matter what, I will never be able to derail you. What I know might be the result of a friend's recommendation, a sudden realization, or a feeling of inner calm. Pay close attention, for I speak to you in these fragments of data. Take it easy, my little one. My schedule is always ideal, but it might not meet your standards anymore. Things that take longer than expected are often necessary stepping stones on the road to success. Know that I'm taking care of things behind the scenes for you. Despite your inability to perceive it, love lies at the heart of my plan for you. Devotion to oneself, to other people, and to me. As a result, you will be able to show kindness and compassion to those around you. One day, you must shine like a star and show the world how much I love you. No matter how tiny, your acts of kindness reverberate and bring good fortune far beyond your immediate sphere of influence. Make sure to savor every moment of the journey. There is more to life than the destination. It is the journey itself that matters most. Simplify your life and enjoy it more. We will be most intimately connected at sunrise when we laugh together and in those peaceful moments of mirror image. Know that you are not alone. It will become clear to you eventually. You can count on my unwavering love, support, and readiness to be there for you whenever you need me. Though you seem disoriented, I can tell that you're not alone. Lean into my arms as you recover from your exhaustion. In addition to being your costly toddler, I'm also your power, manual, and greatest advocate. In order to stay on track, keep those expressions in mind. Trust that I am here. Take my advice to heart and incorporate it into the magnificent plans I have for your lives. In the serene times of your life, when you feel alone and powerless, I am with you every step of the way. This is your unique journey, just as it is with religion. Here are some phrases to think about. You are never truly alone. Even when you can't see me, I'm here, 
supporting you in ways you can't even begin to fathom. Just because you feel helpless now doesn't mean you will forever be a victim of that emotion. Similar to fleeting clouds in the sky, those feelings will arrive and then pass. You must always bear in mind that I am a regular presence. The sun, hidden behind those clouds, is usually just waiting for its moment to shine. I appreciate you, Almighty. Sometimes it feels like no one understands your pain or struggles. In any case, I am here all the time to listen. No matter how difficult it is for you to put into words, I understand your innermost thoughts and anxieties. In your time of quiet, come to me. Hearing your voice usually gets me ready. The ups and downs of living a life are inevitable. You must realize that the difficult circumstances you encounter are not meant to test you, but rather to help you grow and develop. Allow my strength to be your support as you rely on it in times of vulnerability. Requesting favors and help from people around you is completely normal. People who can be a support and a friend have been put into your life by me. The availability of human assistance is not always guaranteed, though. Go to me when you discover no one else can provide the assistance you need. I am here to provide unending support and wisdom. When you doubt me, just look around you. There are plenty of indicators that I am influencing your way of life. There may be a sense of non-violence following prayer, a stranger's kindness, or the splendor of nature. I am always here for you, by your side, offering my support and wisdom. A sense of community should be fostered, my friend. You are an extended family member, and my children are all linked in this neighborhood. Help could be found for you and others as well. Your own problems tend to melt away when you focus on relieving the problems of other people. Those who have gone before us left behind testimonies of religion. I am here to help you, just as I have helped others through seemingly impossible and burdensome situations. Stories like these serve as more than just documentation. They are constant reminders of my ever-present support and presence. Even when things don't make sense, have faith. Regarding matters that you might not comprehend right away, I concur with you that I am attempting to escape for your sake. My intentions for you are good. I want to give you a future and hope. Electricity and tranquility are contained in this belief. You can accomplish much through prayer. Inviting me to help is just the beginning. It's also a means of communication. Finding solace, tranquility and direction can be fostered through prayer. Here we are having a conversation where you speak, I listen, and we both focus on what you say. Help could be found for you through this conversation. You should not bear the weight of the world on your shoulders. I'm aware that being human can be a tremendous challenge. Let me shoulder your cares and anxieties when you're feeling vulnerable. I am capable of doing so on my own. This is where I shine. Let hope fill your heart every day. You can find more ways to benefit from my love and assistance with each passing day. Find the good things that happen every day no matter how little they may appear. These advantages are evidence of my hand at work in your life. Foster the vitality within you. Strength and bravery are qualities that I have bestowed upon you. From time to time, you might not be conscious of the strength you have within you. But when times get tough, this inner strength will come out, strengthened by my presence. Remember, my little one, that both your journey and our dating are exact. Personally, I'm here to cater my assistance to your specific needs and the specifics of your chosen major. Every action you take matters greatly to me if you put your faith in God's power, and I will cheer you on in your journey. Learn to accept my love for you as the final guarantee that you are never truly alone and that I am here to help. Therefore, my beloved child, remember these words. I am always by your side providing unfaltering assistance and unconditional love. This will help you when you feel helpless or unsupported. In me, you may find the strength and guidance to traverse the complexity of life and the cosmos on your journey through this life. A promise will be made to you by your author, your father, and your eternal manual. A promise that will stand tall and true for all time. I assure you that from the moment we met, my support presence and dedication to you will be constants. None of these will ever waver or fade. 
I have gazed lovingly upon you. From the first moment you took that first breath to the last, I have been by your side through every moment, both the obvious and the more subtle, the familiar and the strange. You are creating a tapestry of joy and sorrow with this journey of yours. You can always count on me to keep an eye on your endeavors and ensure their success. I will never let you down. When life's storms are pounding you with constant pressure, it might be hard to believe. Know, my little one, that my ways and intellect are superior to yours, even though there will be times when you feel alone and question my care and presence. Sometimes, what feels like sadness is actually my way of leading you down a path that will be more fulfilling in the end. You might ask how I can make such a promise, but the reality is that my love for you is immeasurable and infinite. An everlasting attitude that transcends the present moment undergirds my commitment to you, rather than purely materialistic success or failure criteria. During your lowest points, you may feel like nobody is listening to you, your prayers may go unanswered, and you may feel like you were let down. You must know that I am busy coordinating efforts behind the scenes to ensure your benefit. Optimism for your future is at the heart of my plans for you, and I am always thinking about how to best serve you. More than that, though, my vow to you may include the pledge that I will consistently value our relationship. As a god, I am not distant or uncaring. All aspects of your life hold great significance for me. Every difficulty you face is also one of my own. All of your hopes, fears, dreams and worries are known to me, and they are very important to you. My commitment to you is not a static thing. On the contrary, it is full of life and movement, and I remember this fact with all my being. Trust in my unwavering character in those moments. In the past, in the present, and in eternity, I have not changed. You have no idea how much my love for you remains constant and unchanging, no matter what happens. Along the way, you will experience joy and celebration. Know that I am celebrating with you right now. When you're happy, it makes me very happy. My energy, serenity, and comfort are at your disposal, observer. I encourage you to be fully present with me in our courtship by praying, meditating, and reflecting on my words. Here in these times of fellowship, my promise to you is both guaranteed and confirmed. The strength to overcome any challenge life throws at you is within your reach. Always keep in mind that my promise to you is not just about what I can do for you, but also about what you can do for me as you navigate through life's journeys. I have equipped you with gifts and abilities that are meant to be used to bless others and reflect my love and goodness in the world. Along with this, I promise you the gift of everlasting life, a life unbounded by the passage of time or the confines of space, a life filled with my unending love and peace. As a promise that transcends the limitations of this world, this is the pinnacle of my devotion to you. Look back and see how reliable I have been in the past. That should help you in times of doubt. Remember the times I weathered the storm, met your needs, and unlocked doors that seemed impenetrable? I want you to know that those are reminders of my faithfulness and an example of my unwavering commitment to you, my precious toddler. See. This vow of mine isn't always contingent. It's not dependent on your flawlessness or your capacity to consistently do what's right. Rather, it's founded on my love for you, which is unconditional. It never fails, never gives up, and never runs out. Go ahead and enroll in the channel if you believe it is true with Jesus. The most important thing to remember is this vital piece of advice I'm giving you right now. Don't ever do anything that could hurt you. Remember that I'll be there for you and by your side every step of the way, that my promise to you is unbreakable, that my help is unwavering, and that my dedication to you is eternal. Because of my immense love for you and my desire for you to continue existing, I am guiding you in this direction. All of these things are great and they help further the goal I've set for you. You can greatly influence your life trajectory with the path you choose to follow. Plenty of roads lead to success and expansion. When making plans, it's important to approach every selection with care and consideration. 
as some can cause damage and regret as well. Temptations for immediate gratification or gains in the near term are powerful motivators. While these temptations may seem good in the short term, they often lead to regret in the end. I hope that in your pursuit of dreams, you will remember to consider the bigger picture and the consequences of your choices in the long run, rather than just the short term. It's important to know when to go in a positive or negative direction. It's normal to encounter challenging situations and obstacles. Being resilient and persistent are admirable traits, but you should also know when to back off. Sure, some conflicts aren't worth fighting through. Making a U-turn every once in a while is the smartest move. You are an invaluable being with unique skills and abilities and a passion for making a positive impact in the world. A life well lived requires making preparations that are in harmony with these talents and your authentic character. You should avoid choices that make you less of who you really are or that compromise your integrity. For the purpose of making decisions, you are seeking professional advice. A person's intuition, experiences with prayer and meditation, advice from wise friends and mentors, and other sources can all contribute to this kind of wisdom. With knowledge of these guides, you can make decisions that might be good for your life and make a statement. Can you recall how societal expectations and peer pressure played a role? When you're not careful, those outside influences might cause you to give up on your top-notch pastime. Do what makes you happy and don't waver from your principles and beliefs. Try to imagine how other people will react to your plans. Your mission in life as my toddler is to be a compassionate and loving person. Check that your actions are no longer hurting other people. Consideration for other people's welfare is a kind way to show respect for me and the lessons I've taught. Embrace tenacity when formulating plans in a world economy that frequently prioritizes speed and immediate results. A key point to remember is that good things typically take time. Take your time and carefully consider all of your options, keeping in mind the consequences of each. Always remember that I am here for you, my darling, to guide you and comfort you when you face challenging decisions or uncertainty. Embrace me in your prayers. When it comes to readability and routing, I am a treasure trove of information. Your actions and movements have energy, so pay attention to them. A lot of what happens in your life depends on the habits and choices you make on a daily basis. Do what makes you happy and healthy. Do what makes you stand firm on your principles. Review your prior decisions, both the ones that worked and the ones that didn't, and take note of what you can learn. Those evaluations are invaluable lessons that can inform your choices moving forward. Embrace the endless possibilities that come your way. There should be no harmful plans, but there should also be no barriers to trade and development. The first-rate routes aren't always the ones you've thought of yet when plotting your future. With hope and a burning desire, you can accomplish this. Your future may be full of life and fulfillment if you make the right choices now. One last thing. My love for you, my precious child, will never change, and I will always want what's best for you, no matter what you decide. In the safety of my love and care, you can unwind. Go ahead with plans that will bring you joy and prosperity, backed by your knowledge, self-assurance, and discernment.